let's talk about one of the very interesting concepts and that is the difference between ishod sindhu ishod ganga and ishod gangotri a very very important and a definite questions for your upcoming examination so let's first talk about ishod sindhu now ishod sindhu is an archival of the core and the peer reviewed journals and numerous bibliographic citations that are part of it if we go on to the statistics for 2019 you have nearly 97 centrally funded in technical institutions which are part of it with more than 200 universities 75 technical institutions and so many colleges as you can see in the uh, information given above now what is important when i talk about the centrally funded technical education what does it actually includes it includes nits iits iims it includes icer it includes school of planning and architecture which is mainly the bhopal vijayawada and delhi then you have uh, the triple iits which are part of it now how did ishod sindhu came in to existence so it was because of the merger of three things that is enlist indest and infonet digital library consortium by ugc so all three of those came together and there was with the merger of this you had ishod sindhu that was started and this whole ishod sindhu is based on infed now what is infed infed is infinet access management federation which manages or kind of builds a trust between the various parties and the member institutions and the publishers to those so the sole idea is to bring in all the journals most of the journals i could say on an electronic database which could be accessed by a large number of universities and colleges and most of the member institutions which are covered under the ugc act and under the ugc section 12b and 12f they are covered now what is the idea and the objective of ishod sindhu ishod sindhu aims to strengthen the services which are being provided develop a huge uh, compendium of collection for the electronic journals that are there bringing in the usage and monitoring the usage of the electronic resources that is taking place provide good quality scholarly content to the uh, students in the institutions and with the help of this technology we can bridge in the digital divide definitely if a research is taking place in kerala and something similar to it can be adopted let's say in the part of northeast that could be easily done not only within india but across the globe and therefore it bridges the digital divide it also is open to uh, is provided to open universities and mhrd funded institutions which are not part of the consortium itself and the sole idea is to bring one of the national electronic library systems that are there so that is about ishod sindhu now what is the difference between ishod ganga and ishod gangotri now gangotri is the place where you have the ganga that originates the gangotri glacier is the source of origin so let's first talk about e uh, the shod gangotri when i talk about shod gangotri what is the idea is since this is the origin point any of the synopsis which is approved across the universities in india goes into an electronic version into the shod gangotri and this helps us to actually find out in which direction the researchers are going what is the actual trend that is taking place and with this synopsis you would have the link to the full thesis that would be available at the shod ganga so shod ganga is the compendium of all the indian phd's and dissertations and the thesis that is there so a platform uh, where duplication could be avoided is one of the sole ideas because since a similar work has already been done on it through this shod ganga you would have access to the uh, various articles the various theses the phd's that have already taken uh, place and that have already been done so any kind of duplication could definitely be avoided because of it so the shod ganga and shod uh, shod 
uh, Gangotri are two main important components that you need to understand. So with this, we understand the difference between Shod Sindhu, Shod Ganga and Shod Gangotri. Very, very important question for your examination. And as always, we'll be having a lot of important lectures for you. Stay subscribed. Have a wonderful day ahead.